you can see here is cursor and you can simply use every feature for free so how you can do it just simply follow my steps very carefully so first we're going to create a new tab and simply search here google anti-gravity you can simply search google anti-gravity you can simply search for it and then you can simply get the website over here if you click on google anti-gravity and then you're going to get uh, the download for windows option over here if you're using any of operating system you're going to get automatically the download option for your operating system so click on download for windows and from here you can simply select which version you're using if you're using x64 you can simply click on that or if you're using arm64 you can simply select on that too so i'm going to go for x64 because my operating system is x64 so then i'm going to click on download for x64 and you can see the download option pops up click on download and the download has been started and you can see the download has been completed now if you click on the folder icon and you're going to find out the anti-gravity over here you can see so if you just click on it two times to install it and simply minimize all the backgrounds app it will going to come up with the setup wizard so here you need to select the i accept the agreement and simply click next and if you want to change the file directly Actually, you can simply click on browse and you can simply change it by your choice after that you can simply click on next and next another time and if you want to create a desktop icon you can simply select it and click add open anti-gravity action in windows explorer context menu so select this to simply click next and install you can see that it's preparing to install so the install is begin and you can see the setup is completed and now you can see it checked with launch uh, anti-gravity so if you click on finish it will automatically open and you can see that the anti-gravity is rightly open in our computer so here what you're going to do we're going to click on next and we're going to click on start a fresh start so if you want to choose a editor theme just by going to click on this dark and simply click next and from here if you click on the review driven development it's recommended you can simply select it and simply click on next and leave it as it is and simply click next and now the and now you have to sign in with google so if you click on sign in with google and here you can simply select your gmail so if you click on select your gmail click sign in and open with anti-gravity and you can see that the message shows up that you have successfully authenticated now if you minimize it and simply open the anti-gravity simply click next and right now you can see that your anti-gravity is slightly open in your computer you can see so you can see at the right side here is the in the right side you can simply see that here you can simply create your prompt and give your prompt over here and you can simply give the instruction over here so what you're going to do now we're going to minimize it and simply go for file explorer go for the new drive and here we can simply create a new folder we're going to create a new folder and folder as project simply click enter and now what we're going to do we're going to open the anti-gravity click on open folder and simply select the folder that you created call call project you can see select the folder and select the folder you can see check this box and i trusted this anti-gravity and you right now you can simply see that your anti-gravity is rightly open so if you just maximize it and if you just do a resize and now here you can simply type your command so now i'm going to type here create me a react website for a business website let's write it like simply type create me a react website for business website we can simply type it so you can see here we write uh, create me a react website for a for a business website and here you can see there is an option called planning and the first if you select the planning it will going to go for a step by step plan if you just select the fast it will going to generate the fastest way it can do so i think the planning will be the best suggestion for you so i'm going to select the planning and here if you click on this option and here you can simply get all the model that can you use for uh, building this website so you can see if i just select any of these like cloud sonnet 4.5 if i just simply select it and simply click send you can see it's right now generating so it will take a couple of minutes to complete for that you just need to keep your patience you can see that business website is rightly ready you can see wide v7.3.1 ready in five uh, 518 uh, milliseconds you can simply see now we get the local send over here and 
all the file has been completed and now if you click on this website you can simply see here is a index.html here is a git and here is a package json json and lots more over here so now how we can simply run it so we can see it's give us a local address you can simply copy it and if you just go for any of website if you click on the new tab and simply paste the website here is a website you can simply see if you click on the home button it will go into it's completely responsive with the perfect gss uh, javascript and the perfect react website over here so this is how we can simply use this ai with the for building website thank you so much for watching i hope to see you for another videos till then goodbye